All right, good morning guys. So I am heading out of Tel Aviv today and I'm heading to Nazareth. Really, really stoked to head out to Nazareth. And yesterday night was an incredible night with Hostel World. So I hosted the Vampire Party, Hostel World's 11th party of their 20th anniversary. And it was, it was very festive, you could say. It was very Halloween-like, a lot of vampires, and it was so much fun out here in Tel Aviv. The first two days out in Tel Aviv, I felt like I explored a lot, and the last two, three days was typically the Hostel World party uh, festivities. And uh, right now, I'm about to head on a two-hour shuttle from Abraham Hostel to their other hostel all the way out in Nazareth. So they actually have three different hostels, all in the main areas of Israel. And I'm gonna be heading to all of them, showing you guys the experiences at these incredible hostels. And the shuttle should be here about 10.30 a.m., so it should be here any minute now. Awesome hostel, highly recommend it. And it takes about an hour and a half to two hour ride from here to the other hostel and costed 50 shekels, so it's about 15 American dollars roughly. So let's get on the bus and let's head out to Nazareth. All right guys, after like about a two hour ride, we made it to Nazareth. I'm so stoked to be out here. I took like the deepest nap in the car ride here. And uh, we made it out to Abraham Hostels out in Nazareth. It's called Fazi Aza, that's the building. And uh, we're gonna be checking into Fazi Aza for a couple nights. And again, Abraham Hostels has three different locations. One out in Tel Aviv, Nazareth, and Jerusalem, which is the last one we'll be staying at. But right now it's time to check in at Fazi Aza. Here it is. Whoop. Fazi Aza. All right guys, I made it to my room. This is basically a 200 year old Arab mansion, so it's a very, very unique design compared to anywhere else that I stayed at. This is my private room out here at Abraham Hostels out in Nazareth. Check it out real quick. So I walk on in, I have a beautiful giant bed. I, on the left, I have some storage. I have like a little desk. And right this way, I got a full private bathroom to myself. And Nazareth is a place that I've wanted to check out for a very, very long time. I'm actually Catholic, and I've been to a private Catholic school almost my entire life, so I learned a lot about Nazareth. I learned that Jesus grew up in this area. There's a lot of history to Nazareth, to Bethlehem, out here in Israel, and I'm really, really stoked to be out here in Nazareth for a few quick days. And this hostel is so, so unique. It's very like old traditional style since it's a 200-year-old Arab mansion. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. There's a balcony on the roof that's super pretty, and we are right in the old city out here of Nazareth. So I'm gonna get some food right now. I'm gonna hang out at the hostel for a couple hours. Then there's some places that I wanted to check out, specifically one place to check out. All right, let's explore. I absolutely love this. This is like, kind of reminded me again of Chef Schwan. It's like little, little tiny nooks and uh, little paths to get to your different spots. And today's a holiday, they're saying, so a lot of the places are typically closed right now. But uh, right now I'm gonna explore for a shawarma place because there's a shawarma place around here. Look at this, I love this. Like come to a dead end and you just keep going this way. This is so different than Tel Aviv. Like Tel Aviv is totally like a modern type city. Like right when you get into Nazareth, you can just feel the culture out here. Um, this is so unique. This is so different. I love it. So I just walked even further and you can get lost in those streets. It's like a little maze, but absolutely beautiful walk. I absolutely love walking through little mazes like that, little streets like that. But I found Abu Arab, which allowed me to order a shawarma. So a shawarma out here is 30 Israeli shekels. This is... <laughs> He's the one that made it for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so chicken shawarma was 30 shekels and we got a Fanta which I think was six shekels? Eight shekels? Eight yeah. she six shekels. So 30 shekels is about eight American dollars and with the drink it's a total of 10 American Ooh. dollars. So 10 bucks for a chicken shawarma, a Fanta on this hot sweaty day out here in Nazareth. First meal, Ooh. definitely worth it. This is really good. First shawarma out in Israel. Cheers guys. 
So after about an 11 minute walk, we made it to Mary's Well. Some might arguably say this is the most symbolic place and the most religious place out here in Nazareth. This is the well that Mary drank from long, long time ago. I don't want this to be, and I don't mean for this to be a religious type vlog, but Mary drank from this a very, very long time ago. Jesus' mom, and uh, unfortunately the well does not work anymore. But still, from what I read, a lot of people from Nazareth is very, very proud to have the well right over here out in Nazareth. And uh, unfortunately, the government, they don't really care too much about this well, even though it's an extremely symbolic monument. Um, they don't have the water flowing. I could see that there's trash around me, unfortunately, and they don't really keep it that clean, to be honest with you. But still, the fact that I get to be out here, say that I went to Mary's well is very, very special for me. So I'm gonna get a little bit more B-roll. I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit longer and then head back to my hostel, because it's like 100 degrees out here. It's really, really hot. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit more and then get back to the hostel. But this is Mary's well. Beautiful. Hi. Hi. How much to uh, Mount Precipice? What? Mount Precipice. What is this? Uh... Mount Precipice. Oh man, the language barrier is tough out here to be honest. The English. They didn't really understand me too well, but after Mary's Well, I ended up making it back to the hostel. I shot the drone up and got some incredible shots out here. I chilled for a little bit, and uh, I just decided to head out and head to Mount Precipice. I think that's the name of the mountain. Supposedly, after doing a little research, it's the best viewpoint, the best 360-degree view you'll find out here. Instead of paying, it was around 40 shekels one way, and he said he would wait for me, and then I have to pay 60 shekels on the way back. So that would be $30 roughly round trip to get to Precipice and back. I decided to walk it. So it's like a 10 minute drive or a 45 minute walk. So I'm about halfway there and uh, hopefully the views are as, as good as they say it is. Definitely walk, you get to experience a lot more. You get to really experience the culture and you get to save 30 bucks. Oh man, where am I? Whew. So I saw a sign that said Mount Precipice turn right. Decided to listen to the sign, make a right turn. I'm in like a really industrial looking area, but my Google Maps also said it's about 17 minutes to the very top. So uh, I'm gonna trust Google Maps and I'm gonna trust the sign. Now my hostel told me also I could take a taxi to the Ooh, that scared me. <laughs> now the hostel also told me I could take a taxi to the top of Mount Precipice. You could literally take a taxi to the top and it's like a five minute walk and you're at the very, very top. So it's not like a long hike or anything to the top. But uh, I decided to walk 45 minutes and it's just about 17 minutes up this hill now. Supposedly, that's what Google Maps says. Oh yeah, there's another sign. Mount Precipice, this way. It's a good sign. Uh, I think this is it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Here is the viewpoint of Mount Precipice. Oh my goodness. So old city and my hostel is on that side. And this is the other side of Mount Precipice. This is absolutely beautiful. And again, Mount Precipice is known to have the best view, supposedly the best and the most spectacular view in all of Nazareth. This is absolutely beautiful, the landscape out here. And what this place is really known for is the history. So supposedly when Jesus told everyone who he is, that he's God's son, back, back, back in the day, all the people despised him, you could say. They chased him up to Mount Precipice. I think that's the story, I might be wrong. And they wanted to push him down the mountain. But instead of pushing him down, Jesus ended up jumping off and vanishing into the clouds or just disappearing so it was kind of like uh, he literally disappeared into into nothing uh, and that's the story out here in Mount Precipice Jesus is vanishing once he basically told everyone who he is and I can't imagine jumping off this or getting pushed off this this is super super high and this is a super beautiful view so I'm gonna hang out up here a little bit longer the Sun should be setting I just realized it sets a little bit later, it's 6 o'clock, should be setting in about an hour and a half and I kind of want to get back down the mountain before sunset just because it was a tough walk up here and there's a couple stray dogs so I'm going to try to get past all that before the sun goes down and uh, I'm going to enjoy these incredible views of Mount Prispice because this is absolutely beautiful up here. Views for days, this is gorgeous. All right guys, so maybe not the best drone flight due to the wind. The wind was really, really strong, but the drone came back, so it was still a great success overall. 
you could probably hear the wind. I am getting out of here before the sun sets. Again, I'm not too sure with the roads. There are a couple of dogs down there, so I definitely want to make it back to the hostel, 45 minute trek back before the sun sets. And I hope you guys enjoyed the quick vlog out here in Nazareth. Now the big thing about this, the rest of this trip, let's say, is I have about eight more days out in Israel and I'm gonna be vlogging every single day. So every single day I'm gonna be busting out content out here in Israel. So it's gonna be daily travel vlogs for the next weeks or so, let's say week, seven, eight days. So I might not be busting out these vlogs till I get back to Thailand because I'm literally gonna be filming every single day. But I'm gonna be in Nazareth for two nights. Tomorrow I'm doing a tour of the Sea of Galilee. So tomorrow we're diving directly into the history and the culture of Israel. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's quick vlog from Tel Aviv out to Nazareth and definitely checking out the best viewpoint out here in Nazareth, which I would highly recommend. Maybe take a taxi if you wanna spend 30 bucks for a round trip from old city out to the top of this mountain but welcome to my channel if you guys are brand new I just had a couple of videos out in Tel Aviv with a lot more Israel videos to come I have a ton of videos all over Southeast Asia and all over the world so welcome to my channel if you guys are brand new make sure you guys subscribe to my channel smash the like button and comment down below on some other spots maybe I should check out or some different foods I should eat and uh, make sure you guys hit the notification bell for the next Israel vlogs and you guys are notified thank you guys so much for watching I got a 45 minute walk back to the hostel and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow morning's vlog and get ready for daily travel vlogs in the next seven days. Cheers, guys.